Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show how to solve a simple engineering mechanics problem using ANSYS mechanical ability. This is a part using uh, different types of loading is applied on that. So left hand side is fixed and right hand side is supported on a ruler. On the beam, different types of loads are applied. Initially at location C, 50 kN load is applied, it is a point load and at the right 50 kN point load is applied and in between the uh, span A to B, a uniformly distributed load is applied. So while solving this problem using ANSYS mechanical epidural, we will use the unit as Newton and millimeter. So 25 kN per millimeter will be converted as 25 Newton per millimeter. Okay, let's get started. ANSYS mechanical ability is open right now. First of all, we have to start with preferences. Structural analysis. Okay. Next one, it will be preprocessor. Element type. Add, edit, delete. Adding the element. It will be beam and two node 188 element. Okay. Close it. Next one, we have to apply material properties. Material models. Structural. Linear. Elastic. Isotropic. Isotropic means material property will be the same throughout all directions. Modulus of elasticity is 2E5, that means 2 multiply 10 to the 5 Newton per millimeter square. And Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. Okay, done. Next one we have to apply sections. The common section beams, common sections. Let's provide the width equal to 200 millimeter and height equal to 300 millimeter. Okay. So, section area is provided. Next one, we have to apply modeling. We'll start modeling. Create key points in active coordinate system. Now, let's see the drawing. We have to create four different keynotes to be provided. Total span of the beam equal to 14 meter. Right, so we have to create four different key points at initially at 00 location, then another will be at 5000 millimeter away, and that will be 10,000 millimeter, and finally it will be 1400 millimeter away. So four different key points you have to create, okay? First one you are getting at origin, so 00, zero we need not write, automatically it will be written, it will be applied. First one created, next one will be at 5000 mm away. Apply. Second one will be 10,000 mm away. Apply. And the last one will be 1400 mm away. Okay. So four nodes have been created. We have to connect these nodes in the form of lines. And these lines will be divided into different uh, elements. First lines, straight lines, select those lines, all lines have been selected, okay? Next one, we have to mesh it. After meshing, the different nodes will be created in between different elements. So meshing, we are starting, size controls, manual size, lines, all lines. We want to divide the number of divisions, elemental divisions we want. Total length of the bar is equal to 1400 millimeter. So we want to divide this one into 140 numbers of divisions. Each one will be 10 millimeter. 140 numbers of divisions. Okay, is divided. Next one we have to mesh it. Mesh lines. You can select peak all. All lines are meshed. Right. Next one, we have to apply boundary conditions. Boundary conditions will come from that solution. Analysis type, new analysis. This is static structural analysis. Next one, define loads. Apply structural displacement on key points. Now here it is very important things that we see the drawing. We have to apply the support at A and at B. So better to see the keywords and then we should apply our supports, right? We can see the key points plot. 
key points. There are two select the points. Number one, number three. Okay. Now here it is very important to see that it will be restricted to move in the UX, UY and UZ displacement of this X, Y, Z is zero. And by the same time, the rotation of X and Y is also zero. It will be only allowed to rotate along Z direction. Okay, done. Next one, you have to apply some load. We see the loads, point load should be applied. Point load of 50 kN and 50 kN both should be applied at the location C and at location D. Then let's apply force moment on key points. We select the nodes or key points. Selected. Okay. We have to apply load in the y direction. If y is selected and it is as it is in the negative direction, it is in the downward direction, it will be minus minus 50,000. Okay, two loads of 50 kN is applied on the beam. Next one, we have to apply some uniformly distributed load of 25 kN per meter. If we change this unit, it will be 25 Newton per millimeter. That will be applied from A to B. Okay. Now, we have to apply uniformly distributed load. So, it will come from pressure on beams. Better select the lines, plot lines. Let's see the drawing again. It should be applied from A to B. Right. So, we have to select by box we can select okay load key number is 2 25 to 25 as the value is not changing it will be 25 to 25 okay so uniformly distributed load is also applied right next to run this solve current address if everything is right, it will show solution is done. Okay. Solution is done. So our solution is okay. We can get the results right now. So we can see our results from post processing. It will be coming from general post processing. And first of all, we have to create the elemental table. Define table. Nothing is defined. We have to add it. First of all, we want to see that bending moment diagram BMD. And by scrolling, we have to come down to the lower one by sequence number. It will be SMISC 3. Apply. Again, bending moment diagram BMD. By sequence number SMISC, it will be 16. Apply. Next one, we will see shear force diagram SFD. By scrolling again by sequence number SMISC, it will be 6. Apply again finally SFD. By scrolling by sequence number SMISC, it will be 19. Okay, let's see. Now that will be updated and closed. Our result is ready. You can see it from plot results. First one see deformed shape and deformed plus undeformed shape you see that means the change drawing plus original drawing by the application of force or load the object will be or the beam will be deformed we want to see the deformed drawing and by the same time the original drawing also okay let's see this one it is actually in 2d format we can see this one in 3d format also like flat controls style size and shape display of element should be on okay now this is 3d view we can see this one in isometric way so the blue one is deformed drawing and the white one is original drawing right we can animate this one also like blood controls animate deformed shape okay so it is deformed and it is showing animation in this way, right? Let's stop this one and close it. We'll go back to the front view again. 
Next one, we want to see a what? Shear force and bending moment diagram that will come from control plot. Line elemental response. So for bending moment diagram, we're going to see SMS, SMIS 3 and SMIS 16. Okay. This is the bending moment diagram, right? We can uh, validate this one with the theoretical results also. Let's see what is the theoretical results. Here it is showing that maximum value is here. It is 0.337 into 10 to the power 9 Newton millimeter. If we convert this one into Newton meter, what it will be? That will be divided by 10 to the power 6, right? It will be 337. 337 kilonewton meter. Let's see our theoretical results. Theoretical results, it is also saying same thing. It is 337.5 kilonewton meter, right? We will see again another value. Another value is this here it is 0.119, 199, 10 to the 9. So if we convert this one into kilonewton meter, it will be 199 kilonewton meter, right? We will see that result. It is 200 kilonewton meter. That is almost similar result to what we are getting in theoretical case. And ANSYS also is providing exactly the same, same values, right? We'll see now. Now we want to see the shear force diagram. Okay. It will be coming from SMIS 6 and SMIS 19. Okay. Let's see this one. The values are, we can see here it is 1,29,553 Newton. Right. If you convert this one kilo Newton, it will be 129.553 kN and maximum is equal to 169 kN. You we'll see our theoretical results 130 and 170. So the values are almost same. Uh, the results validated with this ANSYS mechanical epidemiology and better mesh. In that case, results will be better one. Right. This is about our today's exercise. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.